Okay, listen, I'm going to show you guys all the details, but before we do that, I want to show you this. I'm going to give you all my secrets of how I'm catching, how I'm catching crappie like this. Um, they're in the summertime pattern, guys. If you want to become a better crappie fisherman, just sit back for the next 20, 25 minutes and just join me. And just sit back and just take notes, okay? Anything that you miss, just rewind and watch it again, guys. We've been doing this. I has we've been doing this for almost a decade now. I had somebody say, "Well, Cam, you know it's easy to catch crappie in the, in the spring. Anybody can do it." Yeah, you're right. But we do it year round. This is what we do, okay? And we have almost 500 segments on our channel. Uh, at camscrappyhole.com. If you're not a subscriber of mine, please ex accept my my invitation to hit that subscribe button, guys. And we sort of, we we give you a kind of a different angle. We illustrate for you, we demonstrate, and also, not to mention, we're a man we're a manufacturer and a supplier. As a little point of reference, because we have two stores, I figured it'd be a good idea for me to come on here and show you guys from the phone uh, how you can port between both of our stores. You don't have to punch in Cam's Crappy Hole. You don't have to punch in Cam's Crappy Hole. Cam's Crappy Combos. All you have to do is just go to camscrappyhole.com and when it opens up like this, okay, you'll see that red banner. You see that red banner right there? Can you guys see that? No matter what, where you go, let's say if you go to uh, Stinger Shad, okay, that red banner is still there. You see it? Okay, no matter where you go in either one of our stores, that red banner is there okay and I want to show you guys this just so as, as, at a point, as a point of reference when our store opens up I'd love to have you guys as as I if you want to sign up for our email list you can see right here it says sign up for our mailing list it's free it's free of charge so when the website opens up all you have to do is stroll all the way down to the bottom matter of fact I'm gonna go all the way to the top again okay I'm gonna go all the way to the top when the website first opens up go all the way down to the bottom and you're gonna hit the last video right there the last thing on the page you go up from that video okay and you're going to see sign up for our mailing list all you have to do is just punch in your email list i mean i'm sorry all you have to do is punch in your email address and hit that red button and we send out promo codes 25 percent off 15 percent off um 20 percent off so you get these these promos we send them out generally twice a month you get it free okay now once you get finished signing in and and signing up for our email address to port between our two stores, you see that red banner down there? That's there again. No matter where you go, look. If I go to, to, to my seven ball bearing, the Raven, look. Look down at the bottom. There it is again. Okay, so if you want to go to Cam's Crappy Combos, click that red bar. Okay, now I'm on Cam's Crappy Combos. Okay, Cam's Crappy Combos, if you want a large selection of kits, let's say you can't find what you're looking for, and you say, Cam, I need a kit. Well, you go to Cam's Crappy Combos. Okay, we have more a larger selection of kits in Cam's Crappy Combos than we do in Cam's Crappy Hold.com. Now, the advantage and disadvantage, more kits in Cam's Crappy Combos, but more selection in Cam's Crappy Hold.com. And you see that burger right there? You see those three lines? Can you guys see those three lines right there? Okay, when you click those three lines, look, a drop down drawer opens up. Rods, reels, kits, hooks, plastic sets. That's all that's all you have to do. Okay, you hit that burger. It's called a burger. All right. Now, let's say you want to go back to camscrappyhole.com, okay, which is our largest store. We got 400 products in this store. We got 900 products, 900 plus products in camscrappyhole.com. So you want to go back to camscrappyhole.com. Just click that red banner. Boom. Look. Bingo. You're back at camscrappyhole.com. So that way you don't have to remember. Uh, the URL. All you got to do is just look. There's that red banner again. Look, and there's the burger. Okay, you click that burger. Look, a drop down drawer opens up. So you want to go to gift cards, right? Click that plus emblem right there. And look, the drop down drawer. Rod and reel combos, gift cards, jig heads, cam action hooks, stinger shad, nasty bend, mental hook, curly tails. Guys, we got a lot of stuff. Look at that. Glow in the dark kits, tubes, tricolor tubes, which is my next video coming out. And when you click, when you click, tubes tricolor jigs look at that look at that look at all it's called a, a thousand sixty six piece kit look at that look at all those selections okay so in order to go back to cam's crappy combos look just click that red banner right there you're back at cam's crappy combos listen this will give you guys a point of reference of how to navigate between our two stores because we have so much stuff guys i started with you guys i came to the dance with you and i'm going to stay with you i'm not interested in big box stores they try to reach me weekly monthly 
okay? All of the big box stores, but my loyalty is with you guys, okay? So listen, let's get back to fishing. I just wanted to show you guys that so you'll know how to navigate. And everything in our store in Cam's Crappy Combos comes with free shipping. 85% of our stuff in Cam's Crappy Hole.com comes with free shipping. Let's get to it. Yank! That kind of was floating around, guys. I wasn't quite quite ready yet. Come here. Look at that big rascal. Look at that. It's a 13-inch crappie. And I quite, I wasn't quite ready yet. Look at that. That's that number two nasty bin middle hook. I'm running a 132nd. Look at that. That's a 13-inch crappie. And I'm still getting set up, and I'm trying, listen, for you guys' sake, I'm trying to keep the sun at my back so you guys can see everything, what I'm doing. But I can't seem to get set up. So I'm spider rigging. You guys can see the old tree right there. And we're on a meat run. We're going to keep a few. Okay? And I already know, let me tell you guys, I already know I'm going to get caught up in some branches and sticks and stumps and everything else. And including the kitchen sink. I already know that. Oh, because whenever you're fishing a tree, that's why the crappie are there. Let's put them in the basket. I'm going to give you guys a real good look at this tree. So if you happen to run across one where you fish, you'll know how to break it down. Yank! Guys, okay. This one was off a straight minnow. This is off a straight minnow. This is 11 inch crappie. I want to. I want you guys to do me a favor. That's that. That's that goho nasty bend minnow hook. One op. You guys can use this for shell crackers, and you can use, use it for big bluegills. You guys saw me post the last couple of months using this for big bluegill. Okay, and I bagged that hook right out. This is a three-in-one hook. If you want to use it as a, as a bass hook with minnow, you want to use it as a catfish hook with minnow, you want to use it. As a crappie hook, bluegill shell cracker, all of them wrapped in one. And plus, those are my cam split shot. Reusable, okay? I always have the right size, so you don't have to worry about when you go in there if I'm out. We're all on a meat run, guys, so we're going to take a few home, a selective few. If I can find, if I can find my basket. There it is. Now, I only have one hook that was... A minnow. The rest of tip. A stinger shad. I'm sorry. 1.5 tip with a minnow. No longer in pre-spawn. Spring is over with. They are now in their summertime pattern. You got a nice wind. You can't keep that boat still. He is keeping that boat still. That's the key. So, my job is to come out here and figure out what it is that they want. Okay? Sometimes they want this, sometimes they want that. So if I come out here and I'm catching them on straight minnows, then I know that's what they're interested in. I would lace all my poles up with straight minnows. But for the last few times that I've been out here, they've been wanting that 1.5 tricolor for presentation, and I tip it with the minnow, which I'll go into detail on my cutaway. So now I'm finished with the shell crackers and bluegill. They finished bedding. Okay, they're all finished. And I'm finished with casting and retrieving up in the shallows. Guys, those that that time of the year is gone. Water temperature has gotten warmer. Okay, water temperature has gotten warmer. And now they are relating to structure. That's what I'm dealing with right now. Okay? 
So I know that I'm fishing in about 13 feet of water. Yank! Look at this. Oh, man, he got me hung. Let me see if I can get him off. That's why you have to have a rod with a backbone. He's still on there. He's still on there. There you go. Got him. Got him, guys. Got him. That's why you have to have a rod with a backbone to get him up out of those tree limbs. Did y'all see that? Listen, with a few clicks, let me tell you, two fish, and both of them were off a of straight minnow. That's that nasty bend minnow hook again in the gold. Listen, if you want it in a deadly uh, blood red, I got it in a blood red. If you want it in a platinum black, I got it in a platinum black. I just happened to reach into my tackle box and grab the gold, okay? Whatever you think that you're partial to, and remember, it's a one-out hook. Let me put him in the basket. Let me see if you guys can see that marker. Can you see it over there now? Now remember, I still got one rod, one yank stick, one yank stick, 10 footer with just a minnow. The rest of them are tricolor tubes tipped with a minnow. I'm still running the same application. What does that do? The colors allow the crappie to see it. But remember, if they can't see it, they can't bite it. And that minnow tip gives them the smell because nine times out of ten, crappie will come up to your bait and they will smell it. Okay? They see it. The color allows them to see it, the tube. But then they come up and smell it to see if it smells like anything. But they'll pop, they hit it. If it smells like plastic to them, they won't touch it. Here we go. Yank! Oh, I don't know what this is. This is clearly not a crappie. This is clearly not a crappie. 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 This is not what we are interested in at all. <laughs> Clearly not a crappie. Clearly not a crappie. Cat? Catfish? Cat? Catfish? Bass? Bass? Big bass? Big bass? Come on, stay off him over there. But he hadn't come up and jumped. That's why I say it, it may be a catfish. Big bass. Big bass, and we're not remotely interested in a bass at all. Let me get this net. Guys, you know, this, this guy here is in the wrong channel, isn't he? But this is the power of these yank sticks. And look, that's that nasty bin hook that put in all that work. That's that nasty bin hook that put in all that work. And that tricolor jig tipped with a minnow. That gives you guys an indication of how my yank sticks work. You're sitting right there in the comforts of your own home and watching. You're sitting right there in the comforts of your own, of your own home. Let me show you this rascal. We're going to let him go because we have no interest in him at all. Good eating size. Large mouth though. Perfect eat. If you eat bass, I don't eat bass. Look at that hook. Look at that hook. You guys see that hook? Look at that. That boy ain't going nowhere. Yank! <laughs> I'm going to need a pliers to get it out. Look at that. He was just sitting down there. And you know what? That's why these crappie may not be biting because this rascal here. Make no mistake about it. Crappie is, they are mean fish. But this rascal here is the king of the jungle. Okay? We're not interested in him. We're going to let him go. Part of the video. And I want to kind of slow down because I want you guys to get this. Guys, we catch crappie here all year, all year long, okay? The only month that I may slow up is January because I'm building habitat and getting ready to drop. Besides from that, we're catching crappie all year long. I want to kind of stress this to you guys so you'll know. You have to remember this, crappie change just like you change, okay? Think of, we're all related. Everything we do, you think that you're special, what humans do. No, everything's related. Trees, fish, um, 
animals, everything's related. In the springtime, you shed your clothes. Okay, you get out and about more. more. Wintertime, you more bundle up, you more stand still in the house. Okay, you turn the heat up. Okay, springtime, you turn, turn the heat down, you turn on the air conditioning. Crappie, fish are the same way. Okay, and all you have to do really is just mentally, you kind of think like a fish. Okay, think about this. Springtime, crappie are ready to get out there. They're ready to mate, they're ready to do everything. You see the birds, everything's, everything's ready on the move, including you. Okay. Um, matter of fact, I read an article that 65% of the babies that are born are conceived in the spring. Okay, the other part is in the fall, 40% in the fall. Okay, when you bundle up inside the house. Okay, so my point is that if you keep doing the same thing, you're going to keep getting what you always get. So if you go out there and you're fishing with a minnow from the dock and you don't catch anything and you come back and you keep doing the same thing, you're going to keep getting those same results. My thing is, guys, when the fish change, you have to change. Okay? When the fish move, you have to move. So, a couple of months ago, you saw me casting and retrieving with my 6 foot, 6 2, 6 6, casting and retrieving the curly tail. I'm no longer doing that anymore. Okay? I put those rods down. Now what I'm running are my 10, my 10 foot yank sticks. Okay? Can you see them? These are my 10 foot yank sticks. Soft to the touch EVA grip. I extended the fore handle so it's easy for you to grab whether you're trolling with them, whether you're dropping down on them, vertical jigging, um, or whether you're just, you know, dipping around lily pads, brush piles, uh, you're, you're, you're jigging. Okay, this is what this called a jigging pole. Believe it or not, guys, this is more versatile than a 6'2, six, 6'6. Six six, six. It's more versatile because I can troll with it, I can jig with it, uh, I can vertical fish with it. I can spider rip with this. Okay. And this is my 10 footer carbon fiber rod. Okay. And I want to tell you guys, it comes with the reel. Okay. It comes with the reel and this reel is balanced when we made it to go with this pole. That's what it's made for. Okay. Can you guys see that? This is a 10 footer pure carbon fiber. It's white faded to blue. Okay. And I want, to, I want to tell you guys this, it has an extremely strong backbone, but it's very, very sensitive. And the reason why I extended the forehandle, because more, more uh, hand grip that you have on, on this pole, more grip that you have, where your hand is on the pole, you can feel everything that's going on at the tip. Matter of fact, you guys heard me say on my video, when you're watching, when you're spider rigging, your head is constantly on a, bo on a, on a swivel. I can tell when a, when, a, when a fish has hit this pole, they just tap it because it vibrates. Okay, I can see it because it's that sensitive. So you have to remember that I'm running long rods now. Okay, that's my 10 footer. This is my nine footer. Okay, this is my nine footer. Same concept, it's just that it's a nine footer. Okay, Sa exact same concept and it's counterbalanced the same way. The reel is made for this rod. Okay, same EVA split grip, same Fuji Reel C, Surefire Bail. Um, anodized gears, six pound drag, look at this. And it's white carbon fiber faded to red. You see that? All you gotta do is go to camscrappyhole.com right down there and the hyperlinks are already provided in the description. This is my nine footer. If you like, if you like nine footer, go with the nine footer. If you like 10 footer, go with the 10 footer. But you need something, guys, that's, that can, that backbone kicks in so you can drag those crappie or whatever fish that you're fishing for out of those lily pads, out of that eel grass, out of that um, uh, um, uh, any, any, any type of hibiscus, okay, out of those cedar trees. You got to have what you need to get it out of there, okay, and that constitute that backbone kicking in, okay. So let me show you what I'm running. Matter of fact, this is what, I, what I'm running right now, okay. This is that black, red, and chartreuse. I lowered the pattern, the, the, my print in the water to a 1.5. You can see that tail. Okay, this is a two. Okay, I don't run the number four hook because I found when I was running number four hooks, I'm running into some larger crappie, 12, 13 inch crappie. So I had to go up from the number four hook to a larger hook, which is a number two. And all that, you listen, right down in the description, you'll be able to see it. This is the non painted. Let me show you some of the other colors that I was running. Look, the pink, black, and chartreuse. Okay, 
These were on all, all of my poles, the red, white, and chartreuse. I was running it 1.5, and you remember you just saw that, the red, black, and chartreuse. Let me, and chartreuse. Let me tell you this, this color here can work. Muddy water, chocolate milk, clear, stain. This red, and black, and chartreuse is ugly. You also remember our number one seller is red, black, and chartreuse in the curly tail, and also in the stinger shad. Is, listen, you got to have this red, black, and chartreuse. Also, guys, let me show you another one that I was running. So you have to figure out the reason why I'm running six poles, as you see in the video, because I have to figure out what their pattern is. This is the orange, white, and chartreuse. Okay? So I was using a multitude of different colors. And look, and look at this. I was running, you just saw me talk about that nasty bin hook. Man, let me tell you something. This is the, the platinum black, non-painted, 132nd. I was running the 132nd because I was tipping it with a minnow right through the lips. And with the 132nd, is light enough that minnow can push it around. And it irritates those crappie. I was running a non-painted. You can also, one of, my rock, one of my poles has the pink, the hot pink. Remember, if crappie can't see it, they can't bite it. Again, that's that red nasty bin hook. And let me show you this. Listen, if you don't like the hot pink, you don't like the, the non-painted, look. I got the chartreuse. One thirty-second. that nasty, na mama, there goes that man again with them ugly, ugly hooks. Look at that. Guys. They don't discriminate. They don't know the difference between your flesh and fish flesh. Okay? So, if in fact that you don't know what color to run, but the key is, before I get to the colors, you got to tip it with that minnow. For me, they're not interested. They need to smell. The, the, the plastic provides the sight, but that minnow provides the movement and the smell. Crappy will come up, and without that minnow being there, it'll taste on your, on your plastic four out of five times and you won't know it. But with that minnow there, he smells it, pop, he hits it. You're sitting back in the comforts of your own home and you're watching me do this right now as we speak. You're watching me. Guys, let me say this. There ain't nothing special about me, nothing. It's just that I'm persistent. I get out there sometimes twice a day and I bring you material sometimes four or five times a week, okay? And if you don't mind guys, hit, if you're not already a subscriber of mine, Make sure you hit that, that thumbs up button. That helps with the YouTube algorithms for other people who need to find my material just like you found it. It helps with the, with the algorithm, okay? So hit that thumbs up button and also hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 100,000. I need for you guys to share my material as much as possible, okay? So hit that button, tell all your friends about my material. Um, we are a manufacturer and a supplier. And some of my videos, yeah, they're a little bit longer because I try to illustrate, I try to teach and show you guys what the crappie are doing at that particular time. The crappie are no longer in pre-spawn. Do not, I want to repeat this, do not go look for the crappie in shallow water. They're not in shallow water anymore. Okay? They're relating to structure. They may be bunched up against a log and that's down, you know, 10 feet in the water. Okay? Christmas tree that's 8 feet in the water. When you find the structure, you're going to find the crappie. Okay? So... You, you saw all the colors that I had. If that's not, you didn't see anything that you like there, look. I got a 1,066 piece kit, all tubes. And it comes with the hardware, the nasty bin hooks. Look at that. Okay? Plus it comes with free shipping in this water resistant carrying case. Look at that, look at all those colors. Where do you fish chocolate milk? Where do you fish stained water? Where do you fish clear water? I got everything that you need right here. Just go to camscrappyhole.com right down there and it comes with free shipping. And I wanna say this to you guys. We're obsessed with crappie fishing here. That's all we do eight days a week, 25 hours a day. All we do is crappie fish. And we're not looking for every, every buyer out there, okay? I don't wanna control the market. That's not what I'm interested in. I'm in interested in those crappie enthusiasts that love to get out there and love to catch crappie. We get up at five o'clock in the morning, we're on the water at 6.30, and we fish somewhere till about nine, 10 o'clock. Our temperatures now go down here in the south are going up to 88, 90 degrees. So when that sun comes up, we're finished. One last thing I want to show you guys, this is very important. Now, I want you guys to do not miss this, what I'm getting ready to show you. Okay, you'll never hear me bag anyone, anyone else's uh, items. Okay, I want to make sure you guys can see me real good. Okay, this is my 10-footer. You remember I was telling you about the backbone, right? Look at the 10-footer. You see how fast it recovers? Look at it. Let me shake it. Left hand. See how fast it recovers? You see that? Yeah, I hope you guys can see it. There's Poppy. Look at that. That's that carbon fiber. That means that backbone kicks in really, really quick to help you yank those, you hear what I said, yank those crappie right out of that hydrilla, hibiscus, leaves, cedar trees, uh, eelgrass, whatever you're fishing. 
okay? It helps you get that rascal out of there. Now look, I'm gonna show you side by side. This is one of, one of the other rods that's on the market. Okay, look, look at that. Look how flimsy that is, you see that? Guys, how you gonna troll a two pound crappy and he's down there? All it takes is a split second, he runs you underneath that, that log and he's gone, or those tree limbs. Okay, look at this, look. Look how fast mine recovers. Can you guys see that? Both of these are 10 footers. Look at that, look at that. Guys, we run carbon fiber. We don't run graphite. We don't run fiberglass. We don't run composite, okay? All we run is pure carbon fiber. Look at the difference. Can you guys see the difference? Look at that. That's my cam jank stick. It's an investment. This is pro quite possibly one of the last 10 footers that you'll ever buy, okay? That's how we roll here. Matter of fact, let me show, let me show this to you. Let me turn back around. Look at this. What does it say right there? Cam's crappy hole, yank stick, 10 footer. I got the nine footer as well. So listen, let's get back to fishing. This is your boy Cam. God dog, y'all made me get up out of my seat and show y'all exactly what I'm doing. Let's get back to fishing. If you guys see anything that difficult that I'm doing, put it right down in the comment. I'm a simple guy, I, I fish simple, but guys, it has taken me almost a decade to develop all these products. We're in the top five of rod makers in the country. We're in the top five plastic makers in the country. Okay, I'm sitting over 8 million pieces of plastics right now. Some of you guys are using my stuff and don't even know it. They just package in something that's different. I'm not going to get into that. I better leave that alone because that'll get me in trouble. Um, but guys, we got over 150 rod and reels on the market, different rod and reels on the market right now, plus my 8 foot, plus my 9 foot. Uh, I'm sorry, my 9 foot and my 10 foot. Plus we got some more stuff coming out in 24. Okay, some stuff you, you guys are going to say, wow, dude, this dude is on fire. So listen. Try the twos. You'll be quite pleasantly surprised. Let's get back so I can show you guys exactly how I illustrate my items. And listen, if you need financing, top left, top right hand corner. I got after pay and I got shop pay. So I'll finance with no interest, no credit check, your whole entire car. So you got $200, I'll break it up into four easy bi-weekly payments. Okay? Four easy bi-weekly payments. So, guys, listen, as soon as you make that first payment, boom, your stuff is shipped. You ain't got to pay all of it. You used to go through our site, how you normally pay, Google Pay. We accept Apple Pay. Uh, we accept uh, PayPal, uh, Visa, MasterCard, Discover. Uh, we do it all, okay? We take it all, all the payments, and listen, that first payment, boom, your stuff is on the way. Let's get back to fishing. This is your boy Cam. Yank! Yeah, we definitely missed him. We definitely missed him. Let's see if we can catch this one. Yay! There we go. This is what we're looking for, guys. This is a great way to end this segment, and I think I better get the net on this one if I can find the net. <laughs> oh, he flips off, man. This is a hog here. This is a hog. Come here, big boy. You ain't coming off of that nasty bin hook. Come here. Yay! Whoa, man. This is a big crappie. <sighs> Let me throw it out this marker. That's what I was getting ready to do at that time. Guys, I was just getting ready to throw that marker out. <clears throat> Let me show this rascal to you. Guys, it's something about... It's something about... That's a 13, 13 and a half. It's something about tipping with a minnow. Okay? And let me tell you guys this. Color matters. Listen, if you're not sure what color... Let me turn around so you guys can see me. Look at that. Same one I caught the bass off there, that red, black, and chartreuse. You know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to put together a kit with red, black, and chartreuse 2, red, black, and chartreuse curly tail, red, black, and chartreuse finger shad. Guys, because that red, black, and chartreuse is on fire. I know a lot of you guys have been telling me online, man, Cam, I'm catching everything with that red, black, and chartreuse. Let me turn around and I want to show you guys this. Um... Listen, I don't do anything difficult. I know I got poles in the water, so I'm gonna try to keep an eye on them at the same time. Um, he's earned a boat ride home with us. We're gonna take him home with us. Let me see if I can turn you around a little bit. Let me back up. Guys, here at Cam's Crappy Hole, we don't look for everybody, okay? We don't look for everybody to buy our equipment. We don't look for everybody to buy our hooks. We don't look for everybody to, to buy what we have. He got he has one eye, so I'm gonna release this rascal. He has one eye. I'm not gonna keep him. Um I probably caught him. 
um, prior, but we're going to let him go because he gave us a great battle. I didn't see, I just saw he has one out. Um, matter of fact, you guys can watch me release him, okay? There you go. Um, listen, all we do here at Cam's Crap Hill, we just catch crap. That's all we do. And if you're not a subscriber of mine, you've been watching the channel, you're not subscribed, listen, please accept my invitation to hit that subscribe button. Uh, it takes you a thousandth of a second and it's free. We're trying to hit 30,000 subscribers. Really, we'd like to make our way all the way to 100,000. So we could use your help. Tell your friends about us. Tell your friends about our material. Uh, let them Tell them to hit that subscribe button, button to show love and support. And until next time, guys, keep those hooks wet, keep those lines tight, and we'll see you on the next turn.